Hello race fans and welcome to race 2 of the Mountain Dew Racing Series. I'm Dylan and I will host you guys again today and sorry for the delay for a second race. I've been gone at Holiday World all weekend so yeah but I'm back and I'm doing this during the Brickyard 400 but I have TVL thank God so I could pause it but anyway sorry for the delay and we're here at the California Speedway or Auto Club Speedway whatever you want to call it for race 2 of the season. We had a great first race with our winner emerging as Austin Carey at Daytona and more to come today hopefully a great racing today our front row has the 0-1 car of Jacob Embry on the outside of him is the 34 of Tr uh, Tristan McDowell I messed up again on his name row 2 has Eric Matthews and James McLeod in the 83 should be exciting racing here as we get ready to go green is lagging for some reason Uh, you see the leaders get ready to come off turn four here at the California Speedway. Their pace car will be coming off and lead them to the green flag. Should be an exciting race here. Jacob Embry trying to become the second winner here in the series. I'd like to have a good day today. We have a good field of cars. Pace car is off as we get ready to take the green flag and start the second race of the 2011 season. Green flag is out. We're green here at California. I don't know what to expect. It should be some good racing, though. Good three wide racing. Hopefully, we keep it clean. You see the 38 car. That's Eric Matthews. He's under the 34 of Tristan McDowell. 83 way up the hill. Here comes the 35 of Connor Kincaid for fourth. And Dylan Pochi is going around the 83 for fifth. He's bringing the 14 of. Connor Breton, Breton with him. That's we got a battle for third now. Connor Kincaid's going around the 34, and Dylan Pochi's going to follow him through. Doesn't look like the high side's working right now, as it looks like in the early stages. But right now, Jacob Embry, who leads lap one, gets some very valuable bonus points towards this championship. Leads lap one. And here comes Connor Kincaid. Oh, he gets in the back of him. He made a dive ball move under Eric Matthews, and he got right into the leader. Well, that was interesting. Let's see a good view of the field. You see the 62 back there. That's I got it right last week. Monad, Monad, whatever your name is. You're up there in the fifth position, I think now. As so we got a battle for the lead, Connor Kincaid is trying to pass Jacob Embry, but Jacob Embry comes back down to block him. Jacob Embry is up here for business. He wants to win this race. He doesn't look like he wants to give up that lead. Connor Kincaid, oh, he drove it in there hard again. He's going to make it stick this time. He's under the L1 car. The 35 is going to take the lead here. Maybe he's clear of him almost. He needs to get about a fender, and he's got him. He has cleared him. We're going to come to lap four. This is only a 13 lapper right here. But it can go fly by really quick. It's been pretty clean so far, what I've seen. So you can be right here. We're going to go top 10 and run through really quick. I know this is early, but let's go ahead and do it. Connor Kincaid is first. Jacob Embry is second. James McLeod is third. Zohar and Mon is fourth. And Dylan Pochi is going to take fifth now. Connor Breton is sixth. Cody Woosley is seventh. Um, excuse me, because I don't have the names up right now. The 40 car is in eighth. Perrette. Eric Matthews is ninth. And Tristan McDowell, outside post there, is. 10th, but taking ninth now. You see the 24 right there. Trying to get around him. That's Kristen Baker. He's going to try to work his way in the top 10. Blake Cooper needs a good run. He finished 41st last week. Needs a good run. And then you see Ryan Tinsley. Let's take a look through the field right now. And you see where you are right now as the race progresses. There's last week's winner, Austin Carey. He was 19th last time by. Needs a good run. You see where you are in the field. The 19 back here, Michael Cozzi a little bit behind. Or, excuse me, well, Cody Walls is way back here in the 6 car. I don't know what's the other, Dalton Petit. Go back here to the front. And the 83 car of James McLeod. He was like 5th a second ago. He's up to the lead. Where did he come from? Wow. Came out of nowhere and just passed that 35 car like it was nothing. Incredible. Here comes the 62. The Harmonian is going around the 35, and he's going for the lead! 
What a run he got off the corner! He's going by Kincaid, and now he's going to try to get around McLeod. And here comes the 60 following him, too. That's Blake Cooper. But he wants to get up there and get to this lead. He's going under Connor Kincaid. We're going to have three wide for second place. Oh, and now all the 62 trying to clock him, and Blake Cooper in one corner went from fourth to first. Incredible run on that corner by Blake Cooper in the X, number 60. Beautiful paint scheme he has there. He is pulling away as they're four wide behind him. Kristen Baker is going to make it four wide. Gotta watch out. Oh, there's contact between the 62 and the 83 and the 24 slid up. He's trying to get around corner and he got loose. Here comes Dylan Pote to the inside of Tristan McDowell to make it three wide with Connor Kincaid up high. Great battle. As this goes on though, Blake El or excuse me, Blake Cooper is pulling away. Looks like Pote is going to advance to second place to chase down Cooper. Connor Kincaid way up the hill. Here comes the 21 car. That's Cody Woosley. He's going to push from James McLeod. He wants to get back up to the front. Mata is falling back. Peter Pelusi is right there. Here comes the 40 car. And here's the 11. Mitchell Smith's up here. Oh, he's going to make contact. Oh, and the 83 got loose again. Everybody's, this, everybody's getting loose, it looks like. Look at this racing. Look at this. From the helicopter view. Look at this. Three wide. This is incredible. I pulled a Kyle Petty there. Incredible. It's getting tired here. Nothing's changed at the front. The first two have pulled away. Mono is going back under the 34 McDowell. And here comes Connor Kincaid back. Great view right here. Let's see the right side of Buckley's car in the 45. You see 83 in the 21. He's trying to work his way back up there. He has a bit, He wants to win this race. He wants to have a good run. Oh, we got a wreck. We watched it. Oh. Oh. Terrible crash. That was a terrible crash right there. Oh my goodness. Wow. The 45 car hit the wall in a very bad angle. We were right there on board with him. What are the odds of riding with the car that wrecked very badly? Wow. You see, the th there's a 24, Kristen Baker. The 34, that's Tristan McDowell. I don't even know what happened. It just. Jamie Muckley just had a terrible crash. Goes to the corner right here. Oh, he slid up. 20, he ran up to the 24, and 34 is right there. Just turned him in the wall. Since we were riding on board with him, I want to see this. Let's see this on board real quick. And the sprint Ford Fusion. This is going to hurt. Ah. There's just nowhere for the 34 to go. It's 24 and the 45 got together. Baker and Muckley. Tristan McDowell just had no place to go. Check it one more time from a different camera angle. That was a, a horrible crash. 34 got a big, oh he's, Tristan McDowell got a lot of damage as well. They're both done for sure. But back to the race now. That was a tough break for McDowell and Muckley as they're out of the race. And you see Blake Cooper's up here. He's still leading over Dylan Pote. He has about a second lead I would say over him. And Connor Kincaid gets under Monod for third. And here comes Ryan Tinsley. He's in the fifth position. He capitalized after that accident. He was tenth last late the last race. And now he's gonna be fifth. Great pickup for him. You see Cody Loosley right now holding sixth on James McLeod, but not for long. Here comes and there's, there's let's see, there's the two car. That's Jake Rogers. First time we've seen him up here. Forty car, I'll get your name. I got it now. Spencer Perrett. I'm sorry I didn't have your name in to go. You're up here. I'm glad to see you up here. Sorry about that. Mitchell Smith is up here. You see the 29. That's Pierre Pelusi. 28 cars. Ralph Green. 43. Cam Hawes. Micah Grant. This is Grant. Three laps to go, though. You saw the 45 there on pit road. Tough break for him. And you look at it now. Dylan Poteet has actually gained on Blake Cooper just a little bit. Cooper ran a 37 9 4. Dylan ran a 37.82, so he ran a tenth faster than him. And you see the 35 car, he actually ran an identical lap time to him. He got the mono for he could come back for third in that Domino Chevy. He's not going away from this. He's staying up here. We really haven't had a dominant car, but Cooper's been leading a lot of this because he got up there and took advantage of that four wide situation. He went from fourth to first. That was a power move in this race. You see that they're actually going around Connor Kincaid now. The 62 and the 93 of Ryan Tinsley are now falling through. Incredible right here. Here they go. 
And Ryan Tinsley is going to take advantage and go up to third. He almost got up to the side of Dylan Poteet's 18 Air State Batteries Toyota. But as this goes on, Blake Cooper continues to lead this race. I don't believe anything else happened. Let's check the field real quick. Oh, we do have a wreck. The 17 car. That's Sean Wallace. I was back in the field. I didn't notice that. What happened to Sean? Gotta get this race wrapped up. It was two left to go. Oh, him and Josh Harris. Josh Harris outside of him on the 47. They just hooked. I think he got a little tight. Uh, he went up a little bit. Uh, same situation as the last wreck. Almost identical. They're both heavily damaged. Josh Harris finished last last week. He had a terrible race, and he's going to have another bad finish this week. He was two laps away from getting away with the race without another wreck. So the sixth car, he struggled this race. That was a tough break. I don't think there was anything else that went on. I'm just looking through the field real quick. Nothing's changed in the top two. As we're going to be coming to the white flag this time by Blake Cooper, who finished 41st last week. Needed a good run. You see Dylan Pochi, he finished like 31st last week. He needs a good run. Ryan Tinsley was the runner-up last week. He's just wanted to try to keep the point lead or take it. He's going under Dylan Pochi as they take the white flag. Blake Cooper is our leader. He led pretty much about half of this race. I always figure out if he led the most left, but he has still a pretty good size lead as Tinsley has taken second place from Pochi. Oh, Kincaid almost got into Pochi right here. Here comes the 40 car. That's Spencer Pratt. He wants to get up here and get a good finish. It just doesn't look like Tinsley's going to get another second place finish. He just wants to get up there, but he just doesn't have enough to catch that 60 car. But way up the hill. Off turn four. We have had another wreck, but we'll check in a minute. But Blake Cooper, bad week last week and a good week this week. He goes from 41st to 1st and wins this week. He went the Auto Club 500. That was a race. I don't know what happened. I think we had another wreck, though. I saw smoke. We'll check it real quick. I'm not sure if anything happened really. I think we I think it was a 77 car. Trey Tinsley, I think, wrecked. Yeah, he got turned. He got turned by the 44. The 44 that is Trent Dunham. Dunham or whatever. I think it's Dunham. I said it right. He just turned over. They were just racing the back. He saw somebody in the grass. But this race is over and somebody's smoking. The three car. Well. Bobby Campbell, I guess it's good that the race is over. You blew your engine, I guess, afterwards, but yeah. It's a good race here. It was almost clean. We had some wrecks, though. But today's race goes to Blake Cooper. And you see your finishing order. Ryan Tinsley, Car Kincaid, Spencer Pratt, Dylan Pochi hang on to a top five. Good for him. Zohar Mahan finished sixth. Cody Loosley, Cam Hawes. The, that is the 28 of Ralph Green. Sorry guys if I'm still trying to get your names right. Only second race. Uh, James McLeod got a 10th place. He was up there a lot. And you see where you finished in this race. It was a great race. But a sweet day here for Blake Cooper. Who had a terrible race last week. As we see the guys didn't finish the race. But it was a great race for him. As Blake Cooper is the first Ford to ever win here in the series. He wins here. At California. Congratulations to Blake Cooper. I know he's you're going to watch this, so there you go. Good day, I guess, to do this. Do you see that? Check out the point standings really quick. Our new point leader is Ryan Tinsley by 61 points over Austin Carey, who actually didn't even finish in the top 10, but see where you are in the point standings really quick. Because i got to run this short because I'm about to hit the 15-minute marker, and I don't want to make this a two-parter. But if you want to see stats or something, I'll let you know. Just message me, like, if you have any top 10 stuff that you should know. But there's your standings, and this is a great second race. Race three will be at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway of the running of the Shelby 427. It's going to be a great race, and I'm probably going to do it again pretty soon, so I might have to do it tonight. So you might have two races up pretty soon, so stay tuned. Get this one, and the next one shouldn't be that long after. So thanks, guys, and good night, everybody. I'm going back to watch the Brickyard.